The first part of the anime shows the theme of an RPG game, where the players are called adventurers. Each adventurer has a power stat of various new types of abilities. Each of them also belongs to a group, which is under the auspices of the gods and is called a familia. These adventurers would go out daily to hunt the monsters in the dungeon. The place is a nest of monsters with various difficulty levels. After successfully defeating the monster, the adventurers then collect objects from the monster to be sold or used as weapons. It is said that one time, the gods descended on the human world to seek inspiration until they decided to stay forever in the human world. But the power of the gods was simultaneously sealed so that they could live a difficult life just like other humans. There is only one thing that the gods can give to humans, and that is the power called a bounty, which is used to defeat the monsters that threaten civilization. The people who were given that power would become servants of God. Each god has an association called a familia, and each familia consists of many adventurers. Except for the familia of the goddess Hestia, she only had a maid named Belcranal. Once Bell was hunting monsters in a level 5 dungeon, which contained powerful monsters. While Bell's strength was still not enough to fight the monsters in that place, unfortunately, he was blocked by a very strong monster named Minotaurus until he almost died fighting it. In a desperate situation, Bell is rescued by a female adventurer named Eyes Wallenstein, who is the strongest level 6 fighter of the Loki familia. Bell was in awe of Eyes' strength and beauty. After that incident, Bell secretly had feelings for Eyes. He wants to become stronger to be more confident in getting to know her better. Without realizing it, Bell's feelings for Eyes had a very positive impact on his skill development. Suddenly he gets a rare passive skill called Liaris Freeze, which can increase his strength quickly. As his goddess, Hestia was also surprised to see Bell's drastic development, and she will continue to support his development with all her heart. After that, Hestia went to visit her female friend named Hephaestus, who had the expertise to forge weapons. Hestia asked for her help to make a special and premium weapon for Bell. Hephaestus then made a special dagger weapon, which could follow the development of the user's skill. The more Bell got stronger, the stronger the weapon would be. The next day, Bell met a monkey monster who was messing with the city. He then tried to use his weapon against him. But apparently, he managed to defeat the monster easily using the dagger. Without realizing it, his actions were seen by many people, and he received a lot of appreciation. After that, Bell wanted to try exploring dungeon level 7. A female receptionist named Aina was very surprised to hear Bell's request at that time, whereas a few days ago, Bell almost died in dungeon level 5. Bell said that his abilities had increased compared to before. At first, Aina didn't believe it, but after seeing the strength on his back, she finally believed his words. Aina finally gave Bell access to a level 7 dungeon. But before that, she asked him to look for armor that matched his level. Even though his strength and weapons have increased, but everything is useless if Bell doesn't have adequate armor. After that, they both went to the armor cellar. After selecting the new armor, Aina also gave him a hand guard as a special gift from Bell. The next day, Bell was ready to explore dungeon level 7. He wore a new armor that suited him. Arriving in front of the dungeon's gate, Bell met a support woman named Lily. It is known that supporters are people who offer services to help adventurers in the dungeon. Usually, the supporters are assigned to pick up the game. After agreeing, the two of them started hunting into the dungeon. But unfortunately, Lily has evil intentions toward Bell. She cheats him in the distribution of the results of the hunt so that it is not evenly distributed. Bell earned less, while most of it was taken by Lily. But Bell is a person who is too kind, so he easily trusts others. As time passes, Bell continues to hunt with Lily without realizing that his kindness has been taken advantage of by her. After finishing the hunt, Bell returned to the base and told Hestia about Lily. However, Hestia tried to warn him that Lily was not a person to be trusted because she was already known as a con artist among adventurers. Even though he already knew this information, strangely, Bell did not change his stance. He still accepted Lily as his supporter. A few days later, Bell took a break from his hunting activities. On his day off, he went to visit his regular restaurant. Arriving at the restaurant, Bell was greeted by a female waitress named Sir Flover. The two seemed quite familiar and could be said to be friends. After that, Sir lent a book to Bell to fill his vacation, and he accepted it happily. When he got home, Bell immediately read it. After he read it to the end, he suddenly got an active skill called Firebolt. Knowing this, Hestia was surprised and checked the book's contents. It is revealed that the book is called the Grimoire, a book of magic that can grant its readers power. But after Bell read it to the end, the book's contents immediately disappeared and became a blank sheet. That means that Bell has obtained a new permanent skill from Grimoire, which increases his strength more than before. The next day, Bell returned to hunting activities with Lily. This time, the two of them would try to explore a level 10 dungeon. It contained a vast expanse of dry trees, which had a gloomy and dark feel. In addition, level 10 is also filled with monsters that are much stronger than the previous floor. 
Bell then fought using the power of a combination of physical and fire magic, so he could defeat the monsters with one attack. But when he faced four monsters at once, he had a hard time. When pressed, suddenly, Lily betrayed him openly by stealing his equipment. After that, she just left, leaving Belle alone. In her escape, Lily was intercepted by several adventurers. Her belongings were taken, then she was left in the crowd of monsters. Not long after, Lily was surprised by Belle's arrival, which immediately burned down the crowd of monsters using his fire magic. It turned out that Belle had survived the monster attack in the level 10 dungeon thanks to Isa's help, but at that time, he had not realized it. Lily looked down in shame and didn't understand why Belle still wanted to save her, even though she had betrayed him. Belle just smiled and forgave Lily just like that until his kindness was able to awaken her. After that, Belle brought Lily to his base to introduce Hestia. Lily was then accepted to join the Hestia Familia, which had grown from before. The next day, Belle went to Aina's place. Coincidentally, Eyes was also there looking for Belle. This is the moment they both talked to each other. Eyes wanted to return Belle's armor that had fallen in the dungeon yesterday. It was then that Belle realized that the person who saved him was Eyes. From that moment, Belle became closer to her. After that, Eyes also intends to train him in fighting. So Belle now has a new activity besides hunting in the dungeon, namely training with Eyes. A few days later, the high-level adventurers wanted to go on an expedition into the dungeon. At the same time, they will also cooperate with each other in dealing with the monsters in the dungeon. Their goal is to get to level 9, which has never been touched at all. Belle and Lily also participated in the expedition. Arriving at Dungeon 9, Belle and Lily were surprised by the appearance of a minotaur monster that shouldn't be on that floor. Seeing the monster, Lily felt very frightened and suggested that they run away from there. But Belle could only be silent because he was so afraid, while Lily, who was hit by the Minotaur's attack, immediately fainted. Belle had no choice but to fight it, even though he ended up badly injured by the monster's attack. It wasn't long before Eyes' group arrived at Belle's location. Eyes tried to offer help to Belle, but this time he refused. Belle wanted to face the Minotaur alone because the monster had traumatized him. This time he was determined to win the fight with his own strength and ability. Belle again fought the Minotaur and attacked it using a combination of magic and physical power. As a result, he managed to win the fight. After the battle, Bell's strength increased quite rapidly. He also got a rare item in the form of a minotaur horn. The other adventurers were also amazed to see Bell's actions. Now, he is more respected by fellow adventurers. Arriving at headquarters, Hestia revealed that Bell got a new passive skill called Argonaut. Besides that, he also got his first title as Little Rookie. Afterward, Bell tried to find a new armor with his favorite brand, the armor made by Welf Krazo. Coincidentally, he met Krazo in person at the armor shop. Krazo then tried to offer a contract with Bell so that he could join his team, and instead, he was willing to make whatever Bell needed. The two of them agreed, then Krazo made a new weapon made of minotaur horns for Bell. The next day, Bell, Lily, and Krazo explored the medium-level dungeon. In addition to containing more powerful monsters, the dungeon also contained more monsters. Arriving there, they fought non-stop against the monsters that kept coming, like endlessly. At the same time, a team from the Take Mikazuchi Familia was running from the monster chase. They ran towards Bell and then passed him just like that. As a result, the monsters that were originally chasing them instead turned to chase Bell's group. Surely the three of them wouldn't be able to deal with that many monsters. They ran until they were safe from the pursuit of the monsters. However, Krazo was hit by an attack and was injured badly enough to affect their journey in the dungeon. Unfortunately, again, the figure of a minotaur appeared that confronted them, forcing Bell to fight against it. Bell used the Argonaut skill and managed to defeat the Minotaur. Argonaut is known as a skill that allows the user to defeat monsters in one attack, but this skill cannot be used continuously. They had been safe for a while, but Lily seemed to have run out of energy until she finally passed out. As a result, Bell had to carry the bodies of Krazo and Lily alone. Meanwhile, Hestia had heard the news that Bell and his friends were trapped in a medium dungeon. She then tried to form a special team to find the whereabouts of the three of them. Unexpectedly, many people joined Hestia, such as the family of God Take Mikazuchi, God Hermes, and Ryu, a restaurant lady. They all immediately set off and entered the dungeon. Bell was still trying to walk inside the dungeon while carrying Krazo and Lily's bodies. Not long after, a giant monster called the Attack Titan appeared. Seeing this, Bell immediately got away and fled with all his might until he entered a passage called the Under Resort, or the Dungeon's Safe Zone. The place is a vast expanse of green and overgrown with trees. At that place, Bell also met a lot of other adventurers, including Ice. It turned out that many adventurers were resting. In addition, injured adventurers can also get treatment and food. Not long after, Hestia's team arrived at the Under Resort. Hestia was crying when she learned that Bell's condition was fine. Finally, they enjoyed the beauty of Under Resort together. 
it turned out that there was also a small village built by adventurers called Levira. Belle and the other adventurers relaxed before they continued their adventure. The next day, an unexpected problem arose. Titan's roar sounded from above and the monster burst into the under resort. The attack Titan roared again and intended to slaughter all the adventurers. Finally, they worked together to defeat the monster. Unfortunately, in the middle of the fight, they were overwhelmed by the attack Titan, which can regenerate its body. When pressed, Bell uses the Argonaut's power and manages to defeat the Titan. That incident also made Bell even more respected by everyone because he had level 2 abilities but was able to defeat Titan, who was a boss monster. After that, Bell, Krazo, and Lily celebrated leveling up in a restaurant. Soon, a boy named Luan arrives, who is an adventurer from the Apollo Familia and insults the three of them. Not only the three of them, but Luan also insulted Hestia as a goddess who had no dignity, a goddess of failure, and others. Hearing this, Bell and Krazo became emotional, causing a commotion in the restaurant. At first, Bell and Krazo were able to beat up several adventurers, but when a male adventurer named Hyakintos joined forces, they lost. Hyakintos is a level 3 adventurer who is also a commander of the Apollo Familia. After that, the commotion was immediately stopped by a man named Bateloga, who was a level 6 adventurer of the Loki Familia. Iakintos became a little scared when he saw Bate and decided to leave the restaurant. The next day, unexpectedly, Familia Hestia received a party invitation from the god Apollo. Hestia couldn't refuse the invitation because the gods and adventurers had come to attend the party. But in the middle of the party, Apollo challenged Hestia to do a war game which is a battle between families. Turns out that was Apollo's real plan. The party was made just to challenge Hestia. Apollo says he will seize Bell to join his Familia if he wins the war game. For some reason, Apollo felt attracted to Bell. Without thinking, Hestia refused his challenge and chose to leave. In the morning, Hestia was surprised by the attack of Apollo's adventurers. They attacked Hestia's base with fire magic and managed to destroy it. At that moment, Bell and Hestia immediately fled from the pursuit of the Apollo members and headed to the guild where Aina was. It is known that the guild is a neutral place where adventurers cannot fight each other. Unfortunately, their escape was difficult because Hyakintos joined the two of them. It wasn't long before Bell got help from the Take Mikazuchi Familia and several adventurers. They join in helping Bell against the Apollo members until Krazo and Lily arrive. Familia Apollo also received help from Familia Soma. In the middle of the fight, Lily is surprised by the presence of a man named Zonis, who is the captain of the Soma Familia. Lily had been with Bell for a long time, but she was still a member of the Soma Familia. As a result, Zonis brought Lily to the Soma Familia headquarters. Meanwhile, Bell and Hestia were still trying to escape until she was fed up with it all. There were many adventurers involved as a result of Apollo. Hestia decided to go to Apollo's headquarters to do a war game with his familia. After the two agreed, Apollo ordered his members to stop attacking them. Before starting, they made the rules and agreements of the war game. If Apollo wins, then he asks Bell to join his familia. But if Hestia won then, she was free to ask anything from Apollo. After that, they made a lottery about what kind of war will be carried out. Unfortunately, the draw that appeared was a raid battle. It is known where one familia will survive in the base while the opponent will try to invade and break into the base. This type of battle was extremely unfair, as Hestia only had one adventurer, Bell, while Apollo had many. Gods Hermes and Goddess Freya, who are witnesses, propose additional rules so that the fight can run fairly. The additional rule allowed Hestia to get outside help but only one person. Before the battle begins, each familia is given time to prepare. Hestia had already thought of a plan to win the battle. She asked Bell to train with eyes while Krazo and several other adventurers were assigned to save Lily. That night, the attack plan began. Hestia and the joint team immediately stormed the Soma Familia headquarters. Knowing this, Lily begged the god Soma to stop the fight. However, the god Soma is a person who doesn't care about anything. So far, he has only focused on making extraordinary sake. The members also joined just because they wanted to taste the sake they made. Familia Soma is known as a drunkard because his god is also the maker of alcohol. Soma decides to test Lily by asking her to drink his sake. If she could still maintain her consciousness, then he would stop the fight. After Lily drank it, it turned out that she could still maintain her consciousness. Soma was amazed, then he immediately stopped the fight according to his promise. The conflict with Soma's familia was finally over. Lily was released, then officially joined Hestia's familia. The bounty on her back was replaced with a bounty from Hestia. With that, the Hestia familia officially increased by one member. This is the end of the first part of the anime.